Hey guys, DMV Solar Rider back with another video. Somewhat unplanned, like my Indian demo day. Before I forget, um, I'd certainly appreciate it if you hit that like button. I put my ride or ride related content out every Friday, so hit that subscribe button, smash that notification bell so you're made aware when my new videos are out. I don't know how, but I got an email from Harley Davidson, like a marketing email, not to me about this you know contest to win a harley davidson based on you know uh, entries and a drawing and they uh they issue you know entries based on the number of miles you actually ride a motorcycle in a period of time so i figured well i mean i'm riding i might as well try it out why not so i downloaded the app and then my first two really long rides about 600 miles I of course forgot all about it but the other day I was out on like a 500 mile jaunt you know just out cruising in the neighborhood the DMV neighborhood <clears throat> and I remembered about it and I turned it on and all that but anyways long story short is when you download the Harley app they have a section for like Harley events and I was looking through it and one of them was what seems like an Indian demo day, but at my local Harley Davidson dealer, Harley Davidson of Washington, DC, which is out in Fort Washington, Maryland. And as far as I can tell, you basically show up and you can ride whatever bikes you want, as long as you're willing to provide, like answer a few questions after each ride, I guess about your experience on that particular bike. Now, it, I, I don't know if it's gonna be just like Indian's demo day or if it's a little different, they asked me what time I was going to, you know, I called them to see if I could film, if they were letting people ride who had no, no plans to buy a bike, and they said absolutely. Um, they said, you know, no problem filming or whatever. But they asked me for a specific time, and at Indians Demo Day is just, you know, cattle call. Everyone shows up, the bikes are there all day on, you know, they do rides every, you know, probably one ride every 30 minutes. So I'm not sure how exactly this is gonna go. We might just be able to ride one bike or we might be able to ride them all. And yeah, I'd love to ride a street glide and compare it to my Chieftain. All right guys, we're at Harley Davidson of Washington DC. I'm gonna go in and see what's what. We'll be back. All right, guys, next up is a street glide so I can get a one-to-one -one comparison with the old Chieftain. I'm really excited for this one. People love their street glides. And there are people who swear by them over the road glide. Looking forward to it. Oh, it's got a heel toe shifter. Oh yeah, this feels so different. nice that's got a little more punch than my chieftain in terms of throttle I don't know if this is in like a sport mode or what and like a dummy I didn't check to get gear indicate oh it's in fourth I see where it is right there it feels good it feels big I would need a total different handlebar setup like my chieftain 
Engine is nice. Feels good. No vibration in the handlebars or anything. It's got a rumble to it. Same as, you know, both of my Indians did too, do too. Um, it just feels different. It's, it's nice, I like it. I have no buffeting. I mean, I'm only going 40 miles an hour, but on my Chieftain, I would already be starting to feel it. People have said, oh, you know, the Chieftain is so well balanced, which it is. I mean, absolutely, you'd never feel that weight. I don't feel weight on this bike right now. I haven't done a lot of twists and turns. I haven't done any low speed maneuvering, but it feels really nice. And I really, really, really like this seat. <laughs> I mean, so far, Harley Davidson gets a win in the seat comparison for sure. Transmission feels nice. The heel toe shifter is in my way. It's a heavier bike than the Chieftain for sure. Heavier in the sense that it's, it's harder to get it off the kickstand. And it's harder to turn the wheel while you're on the bike. I don't know why. So this bike has a heel toe shifter and I keep, I'm, I've never used one, so I'm not trying to use it. but it does kind of get in the way. Chieftain is far better balanced than this bike. Like I've got my ball of my foot down, but it's like, I've got to keep it on the ball to keep the bike balanced. And when I say balanced, I mean, you know, when you're at a stop, the Chieftain does not feel heavy. It feels really light and manageable. This feels heavy. So I think I finally get what they mean by a, a balanced motorcycle. <laughs> feels good only in third gear it's not like I'm on a highway zipping it down to see how it goes okay I already like the heel shifter that makes all the sense in the world but this one is too far forward I have to keep my left foot forward like that we'll have to look into that for somebody's chieftain so this is a really nice guy, the sales guy. He's not, he knows I'm not buying a motorcycle. He's not trying to sell me a motorcycle. He's trying to, you know, just talk to me about the bikes and my experience, what I like, what I don't like, which is a good salesman. Very, very nice motorcycle, guys. I think uh, the Street Glide and the Chieftain compare very favorably in terms of power way they feel when you're riding I think the Harley and this is again this is only the second Harley I've ever ridden it feels more like what you think a motorcycle feels like than than my Indian motorcycle just to be honest my Indians are very smooth you feel vibration 
for sure, but it's just different. Took that corner without a problem. I mean, so, you know, if I was getting a Harley Street Glide, I would need a backrest. I'd need much different bars. I like their brake much better. Big fat brake like that, that's nice. Transmission's good. I still hear it, same as my Chieftain. I think that's probably just me not knowing what to expect. I just, I don't know, I feel like you shouldn't hear the shift like you do. Brakes are nice. I like these brakes better than the Chieftain so far. Okay, that was a bad turn. Yeah, the engine compares very favorably, I would say, to the 111. Sounds great. I mean, look guys, I'm just riding and telling you what comes to mind. I'm not an expert. I'm not gonna sit here and talk about, you know, engineering speak. I'll just tell you what it feels like. love to get these bikes on the highway. I don't think that's going to happen today. Plenty of juice. You know something the chieftain's engine braking is a thousand times more powerful than the street glide and you know me I really like my engine braking yeah I'm a little higher up than the chieftain I've got more of my tiptoes than the balls of my feet on the ground you can see that it's the wider seat but with the wider seat, you get more comfort. At least, you know, in this short test ride, the seat is a thousand times more comfortable than the road seat on the Chieftain. I feel like it would be really, really nice on a long ride. And you feel the weight on this bike a lot more than the Chieftain, I'm not gonna lie. Like, you're cognizant of it all the time. You know, just sitting there at the stop, felt heavier, felt more unwieldy, you know, 850 pound motorcycle compared to my 830 pound bike. You know, that would get really tiring in stop and go traffic, to be honest. Like, I mean, even riding the Chieftain and stop and go, that gets to be a bit much. Gets to be a bit much, so. And that's not because of the size of the bike. It's any bike in stop and go traffic gets to be a bit much. Well, guys, that is the Street Glide. I think this is a 2020 or 2019. I'll check it out. Well, guys, we are done at Harley Davidson in Washington, D.C. So. As we head back to Virginia, what are my wrap-up thoughts? You know, Harley has a little bit of a rumble to it that you don't really get. Like, I have a little pillowy rumble on my Chieftain, but it's not, I don't know how to say it. It's not as guttural as the Harleys, and I kind of dug it. I liked it. I enjoyed riding it. I would be content riding that motorcycle. Let me just be very clear. Having put, you know, what? Almost 9,600 miles on my Chieftain since the uh, first week of March 2020. I would enjoy riding the Street Glide every day. I liked the way it felt. 
in a short test ride, its seat was immensely more comfortable than the seat on the Chieftain. Now, that's just a fact. I'm sure after an hour, the Harley seat would not feel great either. Hard, hard to say, it just felt better. And it was immediately noticeable. Uh, it has good power. You know, if I put this in sport mode, would I be able to tell the difference? Probably not. Like I said, I, I can just tell you what I feel. You know, it doesn't matter if we have discussions about horsepower or torque. I'm just telling you, how does it feel to ride? And it was really enjoyable. Uh, it felt like a heavier bike than my Chieftain. It is, but only by about 20 pounds. And I personally don't think you should notice 20 pounds in a motorcycle. I could be wrong, but I noticed it. And on that test ride, on the last light we came to, I put my left foot down like I've done a million times on the Chieftain, and I felt the weight of the bike on me. With the Chieftain, all you're doing is just touching the ground and keeping it upright. You know, a little bit of lean to the left when you, when you keep one foot on the brake and one foot on the ground. It is just easy peasy, man. There's no effort needed keep that bike in balance it feels like it's it's floating and I did not feel that way with the uh, street glide at all what I would tell you guys is if you're in the market for a Harley Davidson or you're in the market for a motorcycle and you want to go and look at Harley you need to go and see him you know he's the kind of sales guy you like he's not trying to sell you bikes the bikes sell bikes he's trying to get to know you to find out what do you like to do on a bike what kind of riding to use his experience and his knowledge to help you select the bike that is best for you and that's that's what I like in salespeople that I had the same exact experience at motorcycles at Dulles and and to me that's that's very valuable Anyways, if you like this video, again, I'd appreciate it if you hit that thumbs up button. And my ride and ride related videos come out on Fridays, so hit the subscribe button, click that notification bell, and you'll be made aware when my next video is out. And as always, those things help more people get access to my content, which in turn helps me get more feedback and build a community, which is all I'm trying to do. Anyways, until the next video, DMV Solar Rider is out. Ride safe.